يعطيكم العافية شباب صبايا اليوم أعطيكم إكزامبل على الـ Composite Section كيف بنجيب ستريس بالـ بالـ Beam Reinforced Concrete Beam Reinforced Concrete Beam Assume uh, we have a section has B this distance equal to 150 millimeter and I have three bar of steel number 20 millimeter diameter and the distance from the center of the steel to the top of the section equal 400 millimeter if I have moment equal to 120 kilo newton meter what will be the stress in this section in the steel and in the concrete the modulus of elasticity of the steel equal 200,000 millimeter uh, 200,000 megapascal and the uh, modulus of elasticity of the concrete assume equal 20,000 megapascal as I told you before the modulus of elasticity of the concrete can be varied the part of the value of uh, F prime C the capacity of the stress in the concrete. Now, uh, the ratio value n of uh, equal ES over EC in this case will be equal to 10. As, as we, we, we discussed it before, as we discussed it before, the The, uh, the value of the neutral axis or the dis where uh, the location of the neutral axis it is not unknown what you can do and as we know the, the concrete not working in the steel that in reality what we have we have this section will be in compression and I have the steel below But to have to make the calculation, I should transfer the steel to the concrete. What will be the area of the steel? Every bar has diameter 20 millimeter. The area of one bar will be equal to 300 millimeter square. Uh, I have three bar total area of steel. Total area of steel. Total area of steel will be equal three times 300 equal to 900 millimeter square. Now, I should transfer this area of steel to area of concrete by using the ratio value of the modulus of elasticity. And the ratio value N of uh, modulus of elasticity uh, equal to 10. Now, 10 times 900, that means I have 9,000 millimeter square of concrete equivalent to the area of the steel. Now the total distance from the center of the steel to the top will be equal to 400. If I assume natural axis located at distance x from the top That means the distance from here to there will be equal to 400 minus x. And because the tension force in the steel will be equal to the compression force in the concrete, we should have uh, this uh, distance to get uh, this distance because at the end, the moment will be equal one of this force times this arm. To get this arm, we should get the area of this concrete time distance distance stones should equal to the area of this concrete time this distance because f prime c up and down will be create compression force at the top and tension force at the bottom 
to get this moment uh, area of this one will be equal. This one will be equal to B and this X. We, we said B time X time X over 2 moment of this area of the two point should equal to the area of the steel will be equal N time AS will be equal to 9,000 millimeter square, 10 time 900 times the distance from here to there will be equal to 400 minus X. At the end, and as we know, V will be equal to 250 millimeter. We can put it by the value 250 times X times X over 2 will be equal to that one. We transfer everything to one side. We we'll get 125 x square minus my, uh, or plus 9000x minus uh, uh, 36 9400 uh, 36 and you can put uh, 5 zero will be equal to zero. That means I will, should have a three million six hundred. If you multiply nine thousand by four hundred, will be equal to three million six hundred thousand. Now to solve this problem, we can use this calculator equation five, and will be selecting number three based on this calculation three and a will be equal 125 uh, b will be equal to 9000 and the other one will be equal to minus three million six hundred thousand we'll find x equal to 100 First value x equal to 137.48 millimeter. The second value will be negative, that means it is rejected. Minus 200.0915. This value, this value will be rejected. This one that means x will be equal to 137 and the rest will be equal 400 minus x. In reality now, uh, we need to find the moment of inertia of this one. The moment of inertia of this section now will be equal to 250 times 137 of 148 uh, a cubic over 12 plus because I need to, uh, to get the moment of inertia above the neutral axis. Now, I, I get it from here, and I need area times this square. This one will be equal plus 250 times 137.48. This is the area time 137.48 over 2. The distance from the center of gravity to this one plus this one. This one, I don't have height. This is why the first term will be in your head. Only we get the area will be equal to 9,000 times this distance square 400 minus 137 times 400 minus 137.48 square. This will be the moment of inertia. We make this calculation. We'll find 250 times 137.48 for a cubic divided over 12 will get 54 of 115 or 0.13 10 power 6 plus second one 